Mohammed is nasty. Why? Because he asked us, after finishing the food here, yeah, he asked us to lick our fingers. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. He asked us to lick our fingers after the food, yes? As soon as, yeah. Yes, sunnah, yes. He said, Baraka maybe is in there. This guy, David Bottle, who is psychopath, who took hammer to attack his father, he's sick in the, in the head. Wallahi, trust me. David Wood is not normal. David Bottle, psycho. Muhammad Hijab, he cannot be same level as Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa. But he's wasting his time to challenge Muhammad Hijab. He can't. Forget about Muhammad Hijab, he can't even challenge me. Trust me. Guess what? He said, do you know licking your fingers is nasty, disgusting? It's jumps. And guess what? He goes and lick, he uses his tongue down there, his gmail, his gmail private part down there licking using his tongue so he wants to teach us what hygienic is is that hygienic black down there he goes to the toilet number one number two look for food look for food these people for food when they eat food what they do after eating food they wash their hands wait wait when they eat food what do they do after finishing the food they, do they use tissue only no, yes. They use water. They use water. But when they Imagine bam. poo is worse than food. Food is not bacteria. But for easier. food, Christians, they use water and soap. Hand wash. Hand sanitizer. Guess what? When using number one, number two, using bathroom, toilet, David Wood, David Bottle, his stinky asshole stinks. He's not washing. And he wants to teach us. Wait. He wants to teach us hygienic. Saying, licking your fingers is jumps. Is the, is the saliva and uh, jumps? If that's the case, why is he kissing his gmail and female and his female private, his GF is female private part? Why is he swallowing his gmail fee and GF private and mouse? Why is he doing French kiss? He doesn't even know what hygienic is. He doesn't know what jumps is. What jumps is. David Wood, you silly in the head. Last week I challenged you, you're not even worthy. You're nasty. You only eat the Quran papers. That doesn't help you. Trust me. You're not helping yourself. You're not helping yourself. I can't do that to the Bible. But you, you're nasty, man. You can't challenge. Fact. You can't challenge Muslims. The problem is between you and the Bible, not us. If you are to talk morals, use read the old testament and your new testament that's enough that's enough we know if you want to talk about moral come discuss with us your book says what you are unclean leviticus chapter 22 verse 8 it says give israelites do not eat the dead flesh who dies by itself the animal that die by itself do not eat it but give it to the neighbors foreigners non-israelites gentiles for why because if they eat that one they become unclean so god is asking to sell the dead flesh to the gentiles and the foreigners non-israelites so they can eat so because why they are not holy and they are not clean but israelites are clean and holy that book you written down with your own hands david wood david bottle psychopath if you want to challenge a book challenge your own book if you are against morals then you need to condemn the god of the bible who asked to kill the animals the monkeys the infants the babies the innocent lives 1 2 samuel so 1 2 samuel chapter 15 verse 3 here what it says let me read for him i got many sex slavery forced mutter marriage and raping deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 10 to 14 and slavery again fight killing everything murdering even in the new testament jesus said kill the children who disobey their parents david wood according to this verse matthew chapter 15 verse 4 you should be put to death 
You psycho. You can't challenge no you can challenge no one. You're nasty, bastard. That's why you you do not know who your father is. You born outside marriage. You don't know who your father is. Your mother, you encouraging Jesus encouraged your mother to become prostitute. That's the only way she can go to heaven before others. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 21 verse 31. And guess what? Jesus is against single mothers and divorced women. The Gospel of Luke chapter 16 verse 18. And the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 32. It says marrying single mothers, divorced women is adultery. But prostitution, it takes you, prostitution takes you to heaven. The only way women can go to heaven is to become prostitute according to the Bible. That's why in Christian countries is the highest prostitution. They have brothel, escort, and they get money because of that. The only way they can go to the heaven. That's the only way. And you hear telling us moral. Come talk as moral. Jesus called you dogs and swines. Come talk to us. Numbers chapter 31 verse 31 to 41 is enough. Many verses, New Testament, Old Testament. Bring whatever you want. You can't teach us what moral is. Quran is the only religion Allah told us, says, give peace to non-Muslims. Even during the battle, if they incline for peace, we need to give them peace. If they are not fighting against us, driving us our home from our homes, we give them peace. We treat them. Quran chapter 60 verse 80. But now here example. Look, 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 3. Mr. David Bottle, nasty man. Nasty man, you born outside of mar in marriage. Your mom was prostitute. You bastard, you're not blessed, you and your mom. The Bible says any man, any man who born outside marriage is not blessed by God. Deuteronomy chapter 21, 23 verse 2. And do not go congregation prayers. Why? Because bastards are not blessed. You're teaching us what? He's teaching us hygienic, nasty man. Talk about this verse. David would finish. David Bottle, psychopath. You attacked your father. That's why we know you're psycho. You're mentally sick. Eating the Quran papers and putting in your mouth doesn't help. You're proving our point. Sick in the head. Nasty man. Rubbish. Stinky.